Hello everybody, it is Aaron here. Today we're going to talk about disabling your integrated graphics card. Right now I'm in my motherboard BIOS. You can get to your BIOS by hitting F1 or F2 or F10 or F11 or delete while your computer is booting up before you get to your operating system loading window. So when my BIOS boots, it comes to this menu right here. This is all your options for your motherboard. Keep in mind you can trash everything while you're in here so be very careful. In order to disable your integrated graphics card, we're going to head on over to our advanced option. This will be different on every motherboard. Each motherboard usually has a different BIOS, a different layout with different tabs. So you kind of have to adapt to what you got. If you need extra help on or navigating through your motherboard, Google is your friend. So we're going to head on over to our advanced tab. And I believe... It's under chipset. This is Northbridge, which has to do with the RAM, and that's Southbridge, which has to do with everything, pretty much everything else. So, I'm going to go to Southbridge, my primary graphics adapter. That is what we are looking for on this current setup. Your motherboard may be different. On this one, I'm going to hit enter. It shows me my options. PCIe is your PCI Express slot, which is your newest, latest, and greatest graphics cards that you probably ordered slash bought from the store. PCI is the white slots underneath, near the bottom of your motherboard usually, and IGP is the integrated graphics processor, which is your integrated graphics card. So, currently, I am set up to do PCI Express first. It displays PCI Express first, and then goes down the line if it cannot find a PCI Express card. If your option is here, IGP. That means that it's looking for your integrated graphics first. So we're going to change that. And in doing so, it should disable your integrated graphics card before the operating system boots. But that's how you do it. You just exit, head on over to exit and save, hit enter, and you'll restart with your new configuration. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see more awesome tech stuff and so on, head on over to my channel. I've got some other cool stuff heading down the pipe. So stay tuned. See you next time.